Why are you carrying a gun? I have no choice. Says who? Sorrel is still out there. Yeah, and so are the guards. Get rid of it. No. Sandra, do you realize if you get caught carrying a concealed weapon in a hospital, you're going to go to jail? Emily, I will do whatever I have to to protect you. Sandra, you're a different person now. Because of you. You don't need to do this. Well, maybe I won't have to. Look, I'll take care of everything right away. I recommend it. The wife is really into the 4th of July. And if I forget those hot dogs on the way home... I hear you. <laughs> I have to protect you. Do you get what you have to lose? You. No, it's more than that, Xander. It's your freedom. It's the rest of your life. It's the best part of you. Well, I don't think it'll be worth it. Jason wanted to be a doctor. Do you know that? After the accident, he lost everything. He lost his memory, his dreams. He lost part of his soul. What does it have to do with me having a gun? It has everything to do with you having a gun. Sander, I, I love Jason more than anything in the world. And he's one of the kindest people that I know, but when he holds a gun in his hand, he's not my brother. He is cold. Nobody can touch him. Like on the border. Yes, you had a gun in your hands, and your hands were shaking. I knew that you weren't going to be able to pull the trigger, but Jason would have. No question. That's why you freaked out. Jason told me what he does for a living, and I don't really want to know. But part of me does, and part of me knows what it has cost him. I will not let that happen to you. You know when Sorrell's guys grabbed me behind Kelly's? When Jason saved you? Yeah. Jason... I was trying to be a tough guy, and Jason gave me the gun to be able to take a shot. I couldn't do it. It's because you're not a killer. You know that guy on the bus in the Hawaiian shirt? Yeah, the, the surfer guy. He's one of Sorrell's guys. He's shown up at the hospital twice. These guys aren't giving up. Emily. We need to get Sonny. No. I can't depend on Sonny. Or anybody else. Nobody except you. You gave me my life. No one's ever gonna hurt you. Ever. <sighs> what if Sorrell's guys come back? I'll be ready for him. What if they see your gun and, and, and fire first? Well, that won't happen. A gun cannot solve anything, Xander. Don't you know I hate guns? Everything about them, the way they feel in my hand, it's my skin, smell, all that blood. What blood? Where'd you just go right now? there. Uh, my kids will be waiting. Hey, you want me to sign you out early? Uh, it's only a half an hour. 
What's the problem, then? You'll still get your time and a half. Look, I can take it from here. All right, then. Happy fourth. Thanks. is now. What about the future? Oh, that too. Xander, come on, don't gun destroy everything. I'm planning on walking out of here, you know. Absolutely, yes. In time for college. You're in Fort Charles? Well, if I can pay for it. Stanford or Yale, if my parents do. Right. Well, wherever we go. I'll work as many jobs as I have to. I'm going to put you through college, and I'm going to put you through mm -hmm. law school. If I get scholarships. Hey, we can do this on our own. And my family will see what an amazing person you are. All I care about is you. You know, when I'm in college, and you've been working all day, and my brains are fried. We'll get in the car and drive. Anywhere we want to go, nobody will stop us. You know me. Save me every second. Get out. Sorry to bother you. Is there a problem? Not anymore. <laughs>